Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for another edition of our daily devotions here through the Christmas season. I'm Pastor John, and I am joined today by a smiling face many of you will recognize, Miss Brittany Spradley. She is our Children's Ministry Director here at the NAS. And Brittany, first off, thanks for joining us, and thank you for all that you do for our kids and our families here at church. We're glad that you're here today. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you having me, and I'm super excited to be here with you all. I'm super pumped because I know this video is going to get a lot of extra likes and views <laughs> by little ones. Excited to see your face on here. Um, Brittany has been working in our Next Gen area to help uh, so many kids stay connected and you can find all of her weekly uh, services and, and stories and messages that she shares on our YouTube page. So I encourage you to go check that out. Check out the NAS YouTube page and enjoy that with your kids. But today, Brittany, you know, we are in the middle of this unexpected series. Yeah. And in this series, we are looking at the unexpected moments in life leading up to Christmas and the unexpected gift of Jesus Christ. Um, and so something we're going to be looking at in our weekend services is the unexpected uh, arrival or events that bring fear into our life. When wow. things happen and we're fearful, um, we don't know what that's going to bring about as an outcome or a future or what that may entail. And oftentimes fear is a very real emotion and response that we experience. And so we're going to be looking at this weekend. It reminded me of the story in 1 Kings chapter 18. I want to encourage you guys, take a minute and read through that today. It's one of those awesome stories. I know you get to share great stories with our kids oh, yeah. from the Old Testament each and every week. And uh, this one is of Elijah, and he is facing off with the, uh, the prophets of Baal. And Baal is a false god, an idol that they've created. And... Elijah puts his life on the line. He is in fear of his life. Uh, he challenges them to a contest of building an altar and seeing which God is real, which God is going to show up. And the great thing about this story is um, God doesn't just show up. He shows up in a mighty way. Yeah. Here's Elijah in the midst of the uncertainty and the unexpected facing off against over 400 false prophets on the top of Mount Carmel and he takes his fear and rather focuses on his faith and the faith that God is who he says he is, who he has said he will be and that God's going to show up in this moment and he does uh, pretty awesome. So I want to encourage you to read that in 1 Kings chapter 18. But you know, as we're talking to people this morning, Brittany, I think that many of them have probably experienced fear fear of the unknown oh, yeah. and how to manage that. What are some ways that you would uh, encourage people today when they're facing fear to find faith? Well, you know, I feel like, um, especially in this time that we're in right now, I feel like this is a common topic, um, fear. And um, I see it with our students too. You know, um, I, I fear my grandma is going to get sick or I fear um, I'll never go back to school again. Or, you know, I fear I won't see my friends anymore. What if my friends get sick? And so it's it's definitely a common topic um, in today's um, age that we're living in and definitely the season that we're going through. Um, and as I look at Elijah, I remember, you know, there's so many times in the Bible where it says, you know, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And there's so often that we find that in the Bible, um, over 360 times, actually. So that's once for every day. For every God's day. reminding yeah. us, do not be afraid. Um, you know, and, and as I read through that and I remember that, you know, I realized that God knew that we were going to go through this. God knew. This is no surprise to God. Um, you know, that's why he has given that to us in scripture. Um, and, you know, actually fear and worrying is actually a sin. You know, if the Bible's telling us not to do it, but we're doing it, it's actually a sin. And, you know, we're human. We make mistakes. You know, we fall short. Um, but the good news is, is that God has um, prepared a plan for us. And this is no surprise to God. So, um, when we are fearful or we're worrying about something, you know, the best thing to do is to rest. Number one, rest. Elijah rested. God gave Elijah rest. Um, number two, to cry out to God. You know, Elijah prayed out to God. He poured his heart and soul out to God. Um, you know, so oftentimes I'll pray to God and my prayers will be um, short and sweet and almost like <laughs> scripted prayers. And then I'll realize later, like, 
I'm not giving God my best. I'm not giving God my all because look at me coming to God. God, thank you for this day. You know, thank you for all that you've given me when really I have a million other things on my mind that I'm not even pouring out to God. Um, and you know, that's, that's hiding that from God. And, and I don't want to be like that. And I know Elijah went to God and poured out to God and, you know, refocusing, I feel like we need to refocus our eyes back on God. You know, when we put other things before God, that's technically an idol. You know, when, when Elijah went to these prophets of Baal, he said, you know, this is an idol that you guys are worshiping. Um, when I teach my students, I tell them, you know, anything that we put before God is an idol. You're putting that Xbox before God, that's an idol. You know, so many times adults, um, I do it too. We put our jobs before God. We put our, you know, our friends before God. We put, you know, activities and sports and just daily things that we do before God. And um, so when we're worrying about something or we have fear about something, we're putting that before God because we are not focusing on God fully. We're not giving that to God. Um, and, and, and I realize that I do that sometimes. And, you know, while I'm going through it, I don't. Uh, and then when I stop and look at the bigger picture, I think, wow, number one, I didn't, you know, keep my eyes focused on God and rely fully on him. Um, and number two, you know, God, God wants us to, to give him our issues. God knows what we're going through before we even go through it. And he, he wants to take that burden for us. You know, he promises that he'll be there for us, protect us, provide for us. And I feel like when I worry about stuff, I'm not giving that to God. And, and, and I don't know about you all, but I do that a lot. I worry about a lot of things and, and I overthink things and I have really bad anxiety. And Pastor Dale just preached on that um, two weekends That's ago, right. actually. And, right. and so I feel like, um, you know, Elijah was so worried and wrapped up in everything that was going on. And my problems are so little compared to what he was going through. You know, he was, God was performing miracles in his name. Elijah was worried about death, worried about being rejected, hiding, running away. I mean, I don't, I'm not doing any of that. I hope not. But Thankfully. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I feel like uh, my worries are just so small compared to what he's going through. But when we are worried um, about things, we can just remember that God's going to provide for us and nothing surprises God. So just give it to him. The Bible says, do not worry, do not be afraid. Take heart. I have overcome the world. So... That's yeah, my take wow, that that really was full of a lot of rich content there and information. And maybe you want to go back and watch that again to be able to catch everything you just shared. I appreciate that um, because even as you started, the things that you mentioned kids are fearful of. Uh, as adults, we may not fear those same things, yeah. but it's real for them. Yeah, You know, things that we put before God are often taking our eyes off of God oh, yeah. and what he is calling us to do or able to do for us. And yeah. so uh, thank you very much for that uh, truth that you've shared with us today. You know, I think for a lot of people, they're probably watching this and they know Christmas is close and oh, the yeah. year is wrapping up and winter is upon us. And that may bring their own mixed bag of emotions of uncertainties or fear um, for some people, the holidays are often a challenge. And so you may be fearful of having to face that again. I just want to encourage you that you are never alone. God has never forsaken you. He is always close to you when you call upon his name. And I think that's a great way to put your faith on display and overcome your fear as well. So Brittany, thank you so much for that. Do you mind closing us in prayer today? Of course. Yeah, of course. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Um, thank you for this time that I just get to spend with um, Pastor John and all of our families watching at home, God. God, thank you for everyone that you've um, placed in our church family, God. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for encouraging each other. God, thank you for just everything that you've done for us, for, for, for providing for us, for loving us, for being there for us, God. You knew that we were going to fear. God, you knew that this was going to happen. This is no surprise to you, God. So God, I just ask and pray that when each and every one of us are filled with fear and anxiety and worry and um, depression and just whatever it may be that we're going through, God, that you just take that from us. God, remind our church family and I, myself, to just call out to you, God, to rest in you. Because we know that this is no surprise to you, God, and and you love us and you want the best for us, God. And you've overcome the world. Nothing is too big. No problem is too big for you, God. So God, allow us to remember that today and every day. God, thank you for everyone that is watching online with us today. And I pray over them and their families to have a safe and happy 
Christmas as we just celebrate you and your son. God, thank you for everything that you've done for us. God, we love you. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, Brittany, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for your teaching and sharing. It's no surprise why our kids love going and learning from you each and every week and you do a great job again thank you and everyone watching thanks for tuning in if you have anything we can pray for you about please feel free put that in the comments below any fears that you're facing you don't have to go through this alone and we want to take those steps of faith with you today as well until our next time being together thank you so much naz family for joining us be blessed and be a blessing